Hi, today we're going to be talking about complex numbers and phasor notation. Uh, it's important to know how to uh, convert back and forth because it's going to be uh, easier to solve problems in different notations. Uh, we can easily go from uh, A plus BJ Cartesian to what we call phasor notation. And we want to know that it's important to know that when we're adding or subtracting, we're going to use A plus BJ because it's very easy to just add the real parts and the imaginary parts together. And when we're multiplying, we're going to use our phasor notation. And we're going to do that because uh, A1 angle phi1 times A2 angle phi2 is just going to be A1 A2 angle phi1 plus phi2. And if we're dividing, uh, we're simply going to subtract phi1 by phi2. So how do we do this? How do we go from A plus BJ to A angle phi? Well, our magnitude is just going to be the square root of A squared plus B squared. You can convince yourself that from the diagram, and our angle is going to be just the tangent inverse of B over A. Not too bad. And to go backwards, we know that thanks to Euler, uh, we're going to take the magnitude times cosine of phi plus J times sine of phi, and that'll end up with A plus uh, BJ. Let's do a brief little example. How do we go from minus 3j to a angle phi? Well, our magnitude is just simply going to be 0 squared plus 3 squared. It's just 3. It's pretty obvious. And then for our angle, we know that real part is 0. This is minus 3, so this angle is just going to be minus 90 degrees. Oops. 3 angle minus 90. And we can also know that because the tangent inverse is uh, of minus 3 over 0 is minus 90 degrees. All right, let's move on to a little more involved example. We're going to try to find VL. And to do that, we know that uh, VL is equal to VS times Z2, our impedance over 2, over the sum of all the impedances. And so we can tell that we're going to want to keep these in our Cartesian A plus BJ because we're adding. So VL is equal to 5 angle 30 times 1 plus J over 2 minus J plus 1 plus J is 3 for that, plus 1 minus 4j. All that. Let's simplify that. VL equals 5 angle 30 times 1 plus j divided by 2, 1, and 1. That's 4. Minus 1 and 1 is 0. Minus 4. And now here is where we want to start converting because we're going to be dividing complex conjugate or complex numbers, excuse me. So let's do our top. 1 plus j is simply square root of 1 squared plus 1 squared is radical 2. Angle phi equals uh, 45 degrees, which is just the tangent inverse of 1. And then 4 minus 4j, we know that's square root of 4 squared plus 4 squared is that's just 2 times 4 squared which is 4 
radical 2. And for our angle, we know that we go real is positive 4. Imaginary is minus 4. So this is our angle we're looking for. And that's going to be minus 45 degrees, which is equal to tangent inverse of minus 4 over 4. So now that we have that, let's do VL equals 5 angle 30 times uh, radical 2 angle 45 degrees divided by 4 radical 2 angle we found that was minus 45 degrees and now we can start simplifying so VL equals 5 times radical 2 divided by 4 times radical 2 and this is why we use phasors because we just simply do 30 plus times is 45 and then we subtract the bottom minus 45 VL is equal to those cancel 5 over 4 angle 90 plus 30 is 120 degrees and that's going to be our final answer